Welcome back to our deck. Today is the day of the final reveal. I'm Jeff from Ottawa Design and Build. Thanks for coming to join us today. Today we're going to go take a look at the project you've been watching unfold for the last six or seven weeks. The deck project from outside. Now the clients have wasted no time moving in. They're out enjoying a drink on it right now and rightfully so. It's a beautiful day. Here we go. So we've shown you how to build it, frame it, skirt it, board it, handrail it, but you haven't seen all the details. So come on with us for a quick check. What we have over here is a glass panel handrail system. Now this is kind of cool because the glass comes with an aluminum frame system and I hate those. They only get screwed to the surface so your posts aren't secured properly. And so what I asked is I got in touch with my engineer and I said, can we just do this with glass and wood? The city said no because they don't have engineering for it. But my engineer said, I like the idea, let me run the numbers. And he allowed me to actually take a dado blade, group the two by fours top and bottom, set the glass inside of it. And now we've got just glass and wood, no third element as far as material. It's a lot nicer. We've got a functioning hideaway underneath the deck. Of course, we're using a metal bracket system to guarantee the door to stay square for a lot of years to come. Nice, simple little latch, skirt board as well. Over here, we have the family outside. Say hi, guys. So this is the fishbone deck. You can see down the middle, the spline separates the boards. That gives you 240 square feet, but you don't have boards butt up joint against each other, so it doesn't look ugly. Everything on here has been camo screwed, so you can walk barefoot, and you're not gonna get the splinters in your feet. All right, so over here, we have the stairs are finished. Nice and sturdy. The only thing I haven't yet to do is I have a little bit of sanding to do. We're gonna take care of that tomorrow. But come on over here, this is a great element. This is our ramp for Keith, this is wheelchair access ramp. In our area, we have to have basically, you know, one inch of rise for every 10 inches. We made ours more like one in 12, so it's not so aggressive. It's a little easier to get up and down. So come on up, you'll see these posts. These all go through the floor anchored at the bottom, tied again at the skirt board. This deck is as solid as a rock. There's no element to this thing that's moving, even though it's a floating surface mount deck. Nothing's going into the ground here. Remember, it's all on blocks. So here we are with the ramp. It's only about 14 feet long. <laughs> Come on up for a walk. Simple design here, it's just spindles. Of course, it's every, every three inches because we have code, we can't have kids falling through the gaps. Now we made this incredibly strong because we have a sneaky feeling that the adults are going to be using it too. <laughs> this is beautiful. All right, now you come up this way, you can see why we have the glass element. We have glass so that from the sitting area in the house here, you can look out and there's no visual impairment. So you can see all the way across the yard, everybody that you're entertaining, you can see the kids in the pool. That way the adults can be up here barbecuing or sitting down, cards, dinner, whatever. Keep an eye on the kids in the pool. Now this is the main surface of the deck. Now we're up almost five feet off the ground. That was nice and easy. And you can see the fence in the background, of course. That's all finished, it came together beautiful. I think one of the things we want to highlight here is the glass. Now let's take a look at this. This is a tempered glass railing. The engineer has approved this so that it's just as strong as, well, let's put it this way. If you had a 400 pound man falling over and running into this, it would throw him right back onto the deck you did that with aluminum post and rail, it would just bend in half. Just saying, I like this a lot better. So overall, we're really stoked. We're happy, it turned out really well. All the angles are nice, the designs are well, it functions great. You have a barbecue area, you have an eating area, you have a lounging area. This area here right now probably would entertain somewhere between 40 and 50 people comfortably, which is awesome because this family needs the space. Near the end of the deck, we had this great idea. The client came to me and said, we want to get something along the other end. So what we did is we designed these built-in planters. You can see them in the distance. We've got landscape cloth in them. We actually framed them with chicken wire and landscape cloth. We're going to fill them up with some rocks for drainage and some dirt. And next spring, they're going to put a little vegetable garden in there at waist height. And of course, and some flowers in there as well. Great because, you know, this house has got uh, mom and dad living in it and so they're not able to get around as much, but this enables them to do gardening without bending over. Beautiful feature. At the end of the day, it's all about the client. You've got to listen to what they want. You've got to know what you're building and why, and then you've got to design it around their lifestyle. 
You can't just say to somebody, this is what I like to build, learn how to live with it. You gotta listen and build them what their dream is. So these folks, we have a wheelchair person who needs lots of room. We've got that. We've got access. We have it set up where he can get right down to the lower deck and right onto the pool surface as well if he needs to. We have a little fold away ramp downstairs for him. We've got little kids who need lots of space to run around. We've got adults who love the sand, sun and have friends over. So this functions for the whole family. It functions for each individual in the family. And I couldn't be any more proud. The only thing that I'm disappointed with is the city made us put it on the surface and didn't let us put it in the dirt. I'm not gonna get involved in that discussion right now, but let's just say in the future, I'm hoping to get a little bit more reason from them. But at the end of the day, they're happy, I'm happy. I hope you're happy. It's a pleasure to share that with you. And remember, Ottawa Design and Build. Find us on YouTube.